Good morning, folks. I just decided that I wanna do another what I eat in a day video. I thought about the one I did two years ago and a lot has changed, not only in my routine, but also in my YouTube videos. That one was just so cringy. Energy to be utilized throughout the day. <sighs> So I'm gonna take you through what I eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and everything in between with the help of my partner, LifeSum, who's gonna help me track my calories, macronutrients, micronutrients, all that good stuff. Are you ready to come along for the ride? Give me five. Oh, you missed it. One more time. No, this hand. This one. Give me five. Yeah! My breakfast has changed a little bit since my last video, so let me show you what I eat for breakfast nowadays. This is my breakfast. Lately, I haven't been eating breakfast. I've become a huge fan of intermittent fasting where I have 14 to 16 hours since my last meal. Like right now, I'm about to go on national television. I have to be super sharp, talk about CBD. Kind of interesting. If you guys wanna hear more about CBD, drop it down below in the comments. I'm gonna go on TV without eating anything. I feel sharper, I feel more engaged, and this is consistent with some of the leading research that's showing intermittent fasting can be a good idea. Now, it's not right for everybody, and I don't recommend you start it without chatting with a doctor first, but it certainly works for me. I need a little caffeine kick, but I'm not a huge fan of overdoing it. I drink my magic sauce, and that's green tea. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero, all engine running. Now my fresh cup of tea is ready to go. As I told you in my hot tea video, you don't wanna drink anything that's above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, so I do let it chill for a little bit before I take a sip. Gives me a nice little boost with a tiny bit of caffeine instead of that caffeine kick that I get if I'm drinking a cup of coffee. I need that sometimes, but not most mornings, especially when I'm going on television. I don't wanna look crazy. Getting supplements, which is a nutrient that's found in a lot of these foods, put into a pill or a powder or whatever mixture you can concoction you can buy online. I got this yummy bowl, steak, sweet potatoes, broccoli. Over here I got my avocado toast with some sriracha flakes. This bowl is a go-to bowl for me. It has protein, has complex carbohydrates, antioxidants from the broccoli, and on top of it, it has a romesco sauce, olive oil, healthy fats. You know, they say you are what you eat. I guess I must be nutritious. All right, I'm gonna pull up my Life Sum app here and enter what I ate. Multi-grain, if I can spell. Toast, guacamole, single potato, steak, grass-fed. So for lunch, I've already had 773 calories, which is really close to my 800 goal. The only thing is my sodium is quite high. That's because I'm eating out. There's a lot of sauces, there's a lot of sodium in there. I'm gonna cut myself a break on this one meal and go 200 milligrams over. So you may have noticed Bear's wearing his in-training jacket. The biggest reason he needs that jacket is just so inconsiderate dog owners don't let their dogs just run up to him because some people think that all dogs should just be playing while they're on leash. That is not the case. Dogs need to respect other dogs' space and that's part of teaching your dog proper etiquette. That's how you train a pup. Now a lot of you may not know this, but I'm pretty good at basketball. Rain dance, making it rain, Dr. J. I told you before that I like doing all different types of activities to stay fit. Basketball is one of them. If I can't find a game, I'm just gonna go ahead and just dribble by myself. You know, I can play one-on-one on one-on-one, -on -one -on -one, which is with my imaginary self. Banks open on Tuesdays, folks. It's snack time. All right, I'm about to grab my favorite post-workout snack. It may surprise you. I'm not a huge fan of post-workout shakes because they make me feel bloated. So I get some berries and mango. Mm, this is like really good fiber, sugars, to get that insulin kick after you work out. And then the magic sauce, boom, <laughs> boiled whole eggs. A lot of people don't like these because they think they're tasteless. I think they're delicious. Then, because I need some electrolytes to refuel, I'm gonna get some pink Himalayan salt here. Dip, get a little bit of salt on there, just a pinch. Uh, mm. A lot of people will say, oh, I don't like it without ketchup and mayo. Look, if you need a dab of ketchup or a dab of mayo to make a healthy meal appetizing, make it happen. Just don't throw in a whole, you know, three tablespoons full of mayo and expect that meal to be, still be healthy. Now, I go on to my favorite part. You know, blueberries, 
one of the most antioxidant rich berries out there. One of the best fruits to eat. Hard boiled egg, blueberries, strawberries, and then last but not least, mango. Here's our stats. 334 calories, 17 grams of protein, 31 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat, 160 milligrams of sodium. Now, the sodium might be a little bit higher because I did sprinkle a little bit on my eggs, but I think that's pretty negligible at this point. Now it's time for me to take a shower, kick back, relax a little bit with Bear, maybe a little Netflix and chill, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Who Netflix and chills with their dog? He loves to wrestle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just collapse yeah. all the time? I'm gonna enjoy myself a Greek salad with grilled chicken. Greek salad is the way to go. You're getting tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, all power vegetables. Then you got your grilled chicken, clean source of protein, a little olive oil and vinegar, just for that extra little taste kick. After a long day, filming, hanging out with Bear, doing TV, this is a nice thing to come home to. And I'm gonna say this is roughly eight ounces of chicken, a small avocado, half a tomato, one ounce of olive oil. There's a little feta in here, feta feta. We got 829 calories in this meal, 71 grams of protein, 22 carbs, 54 grams of fat, all healthy fat. Sodium, 1216, which is under what I'm supposed to be eating for this meal. And this is a perfect dinner for me, at least for my goals. Look at that feta. Mm. For those of you who have not lived in Manhattan, storage comes at a premium. So when I get a lot of groceries, I have to store them in all, of all places, in my dishwasher. And I know that's really funny to say, but I don't use a dishwasher a lot. I order out a lot, and if I'm washing dishes, I can just do them by hand in the dish, in the dishwasher, not in the sink. But what I do use it for is for storing my nuts. I love nuts. I'm actually not joking, I really do love nuts. That's about half a cup. I feel like you guys are gonna be judging me so hard for using my dishwasher. Look, my dishwasher is confused already. It, it turned on because it's like, is it time? No, it's not time. There's groceries inside here, don't wash them. <laughs> Healthy fats galore here, even a little bit of protein to finish off my day. What I want you to understand from watching me today, having my final snack here, this is what I ate today. It's not what I eat every day. That's an important distinction. And one of the most, most important distinctions is that this diet that I follow, this specific eating plan that I follow, is not for everybody. Now it's what works for me, it's what I'm eating right now, that may change, but again, nutrition has to be individualized. It's different from person A, from person B, and even person C. I bet you didn't expect that I was throwing person C in there. Bear likes hanging out with me while I eat nuts because obviously bears love nuts. I actually don't know if that's a thing. I'm 49 calories over, which means that I'm right in the right spot for calories. I underate my proteins just a little bit, but I overate fats. That's gonna happen on a day-to-day -day variance. Remember, this is what I eat in a day today, not what I eat every day. There's gonna be some variation. A really simple takeaway for you, decrease the refined sugars, decrease the processed foods, and increase the fruits and vegetables and plants in your diet, as well as those proteins, because that's how you stay happy and healthy. And speaking of happy and healthy, as always, Bear, do you want to do it? As always, stay happy and healthy, coming from Bear. And check out this video. Right, little Bear Pup?